Hey guys, it's Rudy Avalos here with Texas Cruising. Uh, I came home for lunch today. I have a full hour today. Uh, got out of my scrubs, got my scrubs dirty this morning. So as I was cooking a meal for my son, uh, I puree all of his food myself, cook it and puree it myself. Uh, I started watching YouTube on my iPad and wow, lo and behold, I saw that uh, Senna burned down to the ground. If you guys aren't familiar with Salo Mandarin's channels, I think he has like three or four. He's a very successful guy that lives up there in California. He's originally from Mexico, but ended up moving to California several years ago, and he has made a life for himself. I mean, the guy is extremely successful, has a mansion, beautiful wife, a fleet of exotics to use. So my head goes off to him and all his hard work. But the story here, his uh, brand new million plus uh, Senna ended up burning down to the ground and it, it's sad because in one of the videos that he posted like a week ago uh, He posted out there how he wanted to get in line to own one of these cars only 500 were built and for some reason McLaren told him no Today we got to make a video that unfortunately pains me because he I don't know how many of you guys know but luckily last week yeah. we went to pick up my McLaren Senna which is something I got the car uh, completely from a stranger dealer helped us yes. make the deal happen McLaren didn't want to sell it to me I had to pay almost half a million dollars extra for it and uh, what he ended up doing he ended up going through an exotic dealership in California to get his, his hands on one now this guy really wanted this car so bad that in order for him to have one he had to agree to pay 500000 half a million over the asking price, just to get one. Because for some reason, I don't know what's the deal with McLaren, they just didn't put him on the list. Uh, you know, kept him from owning one through, through the proper shambles, through McLaren. He had to go around the back, like I said, go through another exotic dealership and, and pay the extra 500000 Well, guys, he finally got his, and supposedly the story is, him and his wife were uh, out to get uh, get dinner. At the end of dinner, they were driving home, and they were at a stop, about to make a right turn, when they they realized that the car had caught fire. So uh, the car burned down to the ground. There's no saving this. Here's a couple of videos. So as you can see, it's a uh, number 170 out of 500. It's so sad to see this happen to a guy that went through so much to get this car, uh, this very rare hyper car, and he really wanted it. And uh, like I said, I mean, who pays half a million dollar over? And he posted that on one of his videos. Please look him up. He's under Salo Mandrin. He has like maybe like three, four channels, and they all have great, great content. Like, I mean, this guy is an excellent YouTuber, has been doing it for years. I uh, was also involved in movie production in Hollywood and uh, of course I've never met the guy but just from his video he comes out as being like just a great guy. Uh, full disclosure and tells you how he got to where he is, how he, uh, how lucky he feels he is and uh, just what hard work gets you to. But uh, as I was saying, I mean I guess the positive thing is that him and his wife are okay but the sad thing is have a... Uh, Something like this happened to uh, a guy that waited so long for his car, especially being one, uh, number 170 out of only 500 produced. Now I know exactly how that feels because if you all remember, my Z06 Corvette was one out of 115. So to have a car that rare, and I'm not saying that my Z06 compared to his Senna, his McLaren Senna, but um, wow. So um, I'm pretty sure insurance will call it covered or, or even uh, McLaren. What I've heard of McLaren, they have excellent customer service. If it was a malfunction and anything that has to do mechanically with the car, I'm pretty sure McLaren will cover it. But uh, I guess just a process of wait, as we all know, that's, that's he's going to have to wait, oh my God, probably a year or, or more to, to get this resolved. I mean, those cars, uh, only 500 were made, and as far as I understand, all of them are already sold so I don't know what's gonna happen and uh, I'll put a clip of the of a video so you can see his car when he picked it up 
it's a beautiful beautiful car and just to see it just end like that Jump up and down in pleasure for seeing this. It's just wow, amazing. Well, I wish him the best. I hope he can get his uh this resolved as soon as possible. But like I said, the main thing is uh I hope he's okay. I understand what is it to really want something. As you all know, I got myself on the list and Right before Christmas, I was able to get my first McLaren. Uh, here's a video of mine. As you can see, I'm only kidding. I can't afford a McLaren. That's my son's new little McLaren. It's a little remote control car, electric car. Um, he's only eight months, so he'll enjoy it as he gets a little bit older. But I couldn't help it but buy it for him. Uh, so my son beat me to a McLaren ownership but I'm pretty sure I'll get there one of these days. I just wanted to post this video up and show you guys uh, what happened to the to this great YouTuber. Look him up. His name is Salomandri. He has like three or four channels. Um, but uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you.